After completing DOFBOT assembly, we need to check whether all wiring is correct before powering on. First, you need to ensure that the communication cables between the Raspberry Pi 5 and the DOFBOT expansion board are connected correctly. Otherwise, the Raspberry Pi 5 board will be damaged. Then, ensure the power supply lines between the Raspberry Pi 5 power board and DOBOT expansion board are connected correctly. Next, we need to turn on the switch of the Raspberry Pi 5 power supply board. The power board supply power to the Raspberry Pi 5 through this double-ended Type-C adapter board. Finally, check the wiring and OLED of the robotic arm serial bus servo. And check USB camera. We can open power switch on DOFBOT. Wait for about one minute if the OLED displays system information indicates that the Raspberry Pi 5 system started successfully. After the Raspberry Pi is successfully started, we still need to wait for a while when the buzzer sounds three times. It means that the DOFBOT boot process has started normally. After the buzzer sounds three times, we open your BoomRobot app on the mobile phone. We need to connect the phone to DOFBOT's hotspot. Select DOFBOT on the app and select IP connection. The IP address of DOFBOT's own Wi-Fi hotspot is 192.168.1.11. If the IP information on the app is inconsistent, you can modify it by yourself. Click Connect. We can enter the DOFBOT app control interface.